a flight attendant is trained to handle anything, from the routine... Check to see that your seatbelt is securely fastened... ...to the terrifying... Open the seatbelt! Get out! And when that happens, training saves lives. They call it boot camp, and we are, I mean, merciless. I'm gonna feel like a huge failure if I do get sent home today. Before any flight attendant takes off, she must be prepared for the possibilities no one likes to think about. Because keeping passengers comfortable is easy. Keeping them safe, that's the hard part. The preparation begins at flight attendant school. In this episode of flight attendant school, they don't want to get to class when we're supposed to get to class. If we're supposed to leave at 7, they want to go to 7.15. I'm ready. They're laughing, they're giggling. I'm hearing it all. Suzette, you seemed really irritated. People in the house have treated me like I don't belong. Flight attendant school now begins its second week. Eight of the trainees are sharing a house to be closer to school and to help their studies. But Suzette isn't adjusting well to life with roommates. My name is Suzette and I'm from Castle Rock, Colorado. Living with a house with seven other people, I've done that before. I've had five children, raised them. Um, it had to run smoothly at our house and that's how things go. I'm used to respect from younger children. Um, my kids were very good with, with being respectful. That's one of the things that they were taught, and times have changed. I mean, that's how life goes. Uh, the towels are dry. There's a lot of inconsideracy going on, and I want to tell them all off. You're kidding me. No. I guess you know, we all got, got through without a problem. Well, you know, I, I took the first shower, but I had to turn it on all the way to huh? get hot, which yesterday I didn't. I think Suzette seemed really irritated and, and bitter, and, and I don't know how she was feeling, but that's what it, what it was. That's how it felt to me. How come it's all just water? The coffee's in it, but it wasn't run through. <sighs> I don't know how it works, so you'll have to fix it. It's only water? Yeah. But she was stressed out, and in a bad mood, you know, a little bit. But when you're in that mood, you're gonna notice when, you know, the littlest things people do. I probably filled it with water and turned it on and set it in here. I'm good at doing that. At school, the trainees must put aside their domestic issues and focus on the day's emergency evacuation material. They know that nothing should distract them from their life-saving training. This is the second week of the six-week training program for our initial flight attendant training. This is the week in which the students will be learning about the big time stuff on an airplane. Okay, so today we're gonna continue on with the Airbus, and Sherry's gonna teach you all about the doors today, um, and then we'll go to the airport, play on the aircraft, and that should cement everything in and be ready for this test. The class moves to Frontier's Airbus 319 training cabin to prove that they're capable of operating the exit door. This morning we're doing door drills. Um, if students do not pass the door drill today, they will be released from the program. Just rotate the lever upward. Going into the door exercise, um, it's, a, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because they really are intense about the slides. It's very important that you know how to open the door. You know, if there's an evacuation and you haven't armed your door right, there's no, you open the door, there's no slide. That's a big deal. It's okay to stay over here. All right, so pull the pin so the white light will light up. And this door is going to do one of these. What do I always need to do is the backup, pull my manual inflation. And that's our simulated. Oh. <laughs> so my slide is going to be right here. Single lane. Oh. I would say that I am really nervous. It's just the performance anxiety with, you know, your instructors watching you. The door's closed. Now we're ready to arm. I think Katrina mostly blacked out and forgot a few steps, and that's just human nature. Oh, oh your slide didn't inflate. Your slide 
myself today. I, I was really nervous and I didn't do it as well as I would like, but I did a good job. I give myself an A for effort. We do this exercise because it will save lives. We try to break it up a little bit by making them laugh and smile and, and have a good time so they don't go home at the end of the day just beat up and, and stressed out. Come on, Chris. Oh. Pull that hand off. Open. Oh, okay. Everyone was proficient with door operation, but Heather and Katrina's stilted performances stood out to Sherry. She'll be watching them. Oh, we're exit, you'll be arming and disarming a door. You'll be practicing your demo. Oh, we have a cell phone going on. Oh, get out. Can I answer it? William just broke an important rule. There can be no cell phones in use on the job or during class. You get to wear a life vest, and you get to wear it all day. It's better than actually yelling at someone or biting someone's head off. I mean, I would rather them taking my phone, but this is embarrassing. All right, lovely outfit. Everybody in the building will know what happened, too. The most humiliating thing they could have done to me. His cell phone did go off. Not a good thing. First time it happens, we're going to have some fun with it. The second time, we're going to have a little talk about it. A cell phone going off is, is, is disruptive to the class and to the instructor. Frank makes sure the trainees never forget the cell phone rule. Caution. Cell phone <laughs> in use may interrupt learning. <laughs> might, might have to stand up for this one. Chris taught me everything I know. Hey, we give out the life vest for a reason. It's to remind you to turn the cell phone off. I do want to make sure William understands uh, the importance of following our, our policies here. <laughs> Next on Flight Attendant School. They don't want to get to class when we're supposed to get to class. Hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. And I'm ready. People in the house have treated me like I don't belong.